What's up y'all? Today I wanted to do a taste test slash review on the Four Sigmatic Protein Powders. They are completely plant-based protein powders that have the superfood magic mushrooms and adaptogen. Heard tons of stuff about this, but I haven't seen anyone do like a taste test review on these. All the ones I've seen have been completely sponsored. Not that I don't trust them, but like I don't trust them. They're sponsored, so they're gonna have some bias towards the product. At least I think. Obviously I'm not sponsored by this, so I wanted to get my taste test. And do these mushrooms actually even do anything? Like is it worth it? Um, so that's what I'm gonna be reviewing today. There's such a glare on my glasses. Ugh. Sorry. I did the bundle pack, so I got three, the three flavors. I have the unflavored creamy peanut butter one and the cacao one. Okay, so a little bit of background on these protein powders. I took notes, so that's why I'm looking over here. So it's a plant-based protein powder that's supposedly filled with functional superfood mushrooms and adaptogens. It's free of gums, fillers, artificial flavors. It is USDA organic, has no stevia, it is gluten-free, and it is vegan. Out of all the protein powders I've ever seen i've got to say this has got to be the cleanest protein powder i have ever seen this is pretty high quality stuff i guess that's the main thing for this protein powder it's supposed to be reparative with plant-based proteins and mushrooms so the type of protein that's in here obviously is a plant-based protein but it is a protein blend so it has organic pea, hemp, chia, pumpkin, and coconut protein. So I really like that it has that blend of protein versus some usual protein powders that are either completely soy or completely pea protein because it has complementary proteins which gives you um, all the essential amino acids which makes it a complete protein. So I really like that. All of these have the same protein blend in them. So each one of these has 18 grams of protein per serving which to be honest is a little bit on the lower end of protein that I like to be with my protein powders but I mean because of all the extra mushroom stuff it has we'll see if it's worth it uh, but for me I like to be around at least 20 grams of protein I like to be more 25 to 30 grams of protein per serving the calories kind of ranges on each flavor let's talk about the mushrooms in here so each serving supposedly has a thousand milligrams of superfood mushrooms and 500 milligrams of adaptogens. What does that all mean? You know, I'm not really sure. So I'm gonna just do like a quick overview of each mushroom. When I looked at all of these, they all pretty much had the same seven mushrooms. So I'll just go down the list really quickly on what their website says. Let's start with the first one. So it has chaga mushrooms, which is supposed to support immune function. Reishi mushrooms that help support stress. Cordyceps that are supposed to support energy and endurance. A lion's mane mushroom that helps with focus and just getting things done. Turkey tail mushroom that has antioxidant and immune supporting properties. Ashwagandha, which is supposed to reduce stress and fatigue. I'm gonna butcher this. Eleuthero, Eleuthero mushroom, which is supposed to support stamina, endurance, and overall well-being. So this isn't my first time trying Four Sigmatic pro products. I have tried the Lion's Mane coffee, which was actually really good. I really enjoyed that coffee. I've also tried the matcha latte mix and the cacao hot chocolate mix thing, which that one wasn't my favorite um, just because it wasn't as sweet as I thought hot chocolate could be, but obviously you can add sweetener to it. I didn't really realize or see any of the mushroom superfood properties it was supposed to give me, uh, but it was also a really long time ago and I wasn't like focused on those effects, um, so I can't really say, but I have not tried these protein powders before. So I'm excited to do a taste test on these. I'm gonna try the unflavored creamy protein powder. So I did a half serving just with straight up water. For it being unflavored, and I guess it's not flavorless, but it definitely doesn't have an overpowering flavor of anything. It's pretty good. Like it's kind of tastes like protein powder. It's not gritty, it's not chalky, it's definitely creamy. This one has 120 calories per serving, 7 grams of carbs, 18 grams of protein, 2 grams of sugar. And I guess it's sweetened with, with monk fruit and coconut sugar, coconut palm sugar. Wow, this it's not bad. 
I'm pleasantly surprised for an unflavored product to be as like appetizing as it is. This, I could see using it in tons of different things, cooking, baking, you could literally add it to anything because it doesn't have an overpowering taste. Okay, next I have the peanut butter one. This one is the one I'm most excited to try because I don't think I've ever tried a peanut butter protein powder before. It smells like peanut butter. Wow. That's really good. That's like a mild peanutty flavor. I was almost scared it was going to be too overpoweringly peanut butter. You know how some things are just, just way too peanut that you can't really use it in anything? This is really good. Mmm, that's good. Okay, so this one has 180 calories, 18 grams of protein, 12 grams of carbs, 4 grams of sugar. It's sweetened with monk fruit and coconut sugar. This one isn't the most macro friendly. I mean, for 180 calories, I would want to see closer to 30 grams of protein. There's peanut flour in this. That's what gives it the peanut butter flavor. I would drink this just with water, like a protein shake like this. There's very few protein powders that I would actually drink with just straight up water. This one though, I probably would drink that way. I think this one is the one with the most calories in it, but um, Taste-wise, delicious, delicious. Now for the chocolate one, or the, I keep calling chocolate, it's creamy cacao. And so I'm not gonna lie, I have already tried this one this morning, but I didn't try it straight up like a protein shake. I just threw it in my, I made protein oats, so I just threw it in my oatmeal, and it was good. But let's try it just straight up and see. Mmm, this tastes like the cacao, like hot chocolate mix. That's exactly what this tastes like. Um, it's just creamier, it's thicker. So in the oatmeal, it wasn't really that sweet. It didn't add any sweetness to my oatmeal. I got the sweetness from the other fruit I added, but alone, it's pretty good. It tastes like cacao. It doesn't taste like most protein powders that are super like milk chocolatey and like overly sweet. This one is like, it tastes like cacao. So this one has 150 calories, which is a little bit higher than the original one. 18 grams of protein, 13 grams of carbs, and 3 grams of sugar. Oh, it has coconut milk powder in it, and that's actually really creamy. I think out of these three, my favorite flavor would be the peanut butter one, but just because the macros are so off on this one, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go for the peanut butter one. I would go for this chocolate one, but this one has to be the winner, mainly because of the macros and the taste. I feel like if you really wanted to, you could add a scoop of cacao powder to this and it would change the flavor. You could add a scoop of dry peanut butter uh, powder to this and it'll taste like peanut butter. But I mean, for 120 calories, 18 grams of sugar, like, I mean, 18 grams of protein, that's fine. Like, I can get away with that. But 180 calories for only 18 grams of protein? You, but off the bat, taste testing. These are pretty good. They surpassed my expectations of what I thought. I, am I gonna see like the mushroom properties to them? I don't know. I think off the bat, if you're into high quality ingredients and you're looking for like a really super clean protein powder that's plant-based on top of that, this is the cleanest I've seen of any protein powder. Will I buy these again? To be honest, because of the macro profile, I think for now I'm fine, but I'm gonna try to go into a cut next month. I'd rather get most of my calories and protein from Whole Foods and you know when you're cutting down you gotta cut from where you can and these aren't, they're just not gonna cut it for me. But taste wise they're pretty good. They're pretty good. I'm excited to make them in different ways and see if I like those. I hope you like this initial taste test review um, and just stay tuned for my other clips on how I make these. my protein muffin, the banana one, but here it is, the peanut butter one. The taste test on this. Mmm, that's really good. Mm-hmm, I approve. The peanut butter is not like overpowering. Banana still comes through. It's sweet. It cooked pretty well, just like my other recipe. It works. Protein powders. 
and you bake with them. I'm gonna make waffles now with the protein powder. I'm gonna use a packet of the, the unflavored one. So 40 grams of oats. I'm also gonna do a teaspoon of baking powder. I'm gonna do about half a cup to a cup of almond milk. Let's try the waffle. The texture came out good and it come out weird. It cooked pretty much all the way through. You know some protein powders, they don't cook like all that well. This one cooks really good. Just to be honest, I've been eating this protein powders for breakfast and in the, the muffins I made. I don't know if I feel any of the effects or if maybe it's just my coffee. And you know, I do, I am able to get more work done. I don't know if it's just because it's breakfast or it, it is the mushrooms. So today's a new day and I made a green smoothie with the peanut butter protein powder. Mm, it's so good. So I'm gonna finish this, I'm gonna continue working for like another hour and then I'll do like a final check-in on my thoughts on the mushrooms, if they actually did anything, or yeah, we'll see. Okay, I'm back. So it's been like two and a half hours since I finished the smoothie. And I don't think my opinion has changed much on the mushrooms, like the effects of them. I think I have to try them for a much longer time to be able to say that the mushrooms are giving me some sort of benefit. And I just actually went back to the gym this week. Um, my gym's in my area finally reopened and I've been going like first thing in the morning. I've been having the protein powders and I have been able to knock about a bunch of work out like two, three hours straight in the morning. And before I was like really distracted and I don't know if it's it has to do with the protein powders themselves or just the fact that I'm able to go to the gym back on routine and you know that exercise high again that I'm just busting workout. I don't know if it's that or if it's completely the mushroom. So I can't say confidently that I'm experiencing all these mushroom benefits. I think it's too early to tell. They bake really well, they cook really well, they taste really good. Um, is it worth the mushrooms? I don't know. If you guys have tried them for longer and you feel some effects, let me know. I'm interested to know if they actually work or if it's just... So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the video and if you try them, let me know what you think. Bye!